Dr. Stephen Dager on gene discovery, identifying the genetic causes of blinding diseases. My interest is actually at the genetic level. Uh, I actually see this, and I think everybody in my laboratory group see this as we work with an individual, we work with their family, and our goal is to say what is the cause of the disease in this individual and in his or her family. Those are genetic studies. We do it on a case-by-case -case basis. By now, we've actually ascertained over 2,000 people in our studies. They're all part of our studies. Uh, we had methods in the 1980s which allowed us to look at DNA, the source code for genetics, uh, say to be able to do a couple hundred uh, base pairs a day. We can now do a couple hundred million base pairs a day. So the increase in technology is astonishing and borders on the incomprehensible. I think candidly, if I had been told in 1985 that in 2012 we could do 100 million nucleotides or more in a day, we could do a full genome in two days, I would say that was centuries off. Well, well, I was wrong about that, and in fact, these incredibly powerful techniques are now available to all of us to solve the problems on a family-by-family -family basis of the cause of the disease. My research, taken at the simplest level, is to say, here is the cause of disease in this particular individual. Then the question becomes, what's going to be done about that? And one of the great pleasures of our research now in the last four or five years is we can go to individuals in which we've identified the underlying cause and say, well, here's a potential treatment. There's potential treatments for Stargardt disease. There's potential treatments for labor congenital amaurosis. I'm absolutely astounded at the genetic technology which is available. I'm astounded at how far we've come in understanding how human biology works. But I have to say candidly, I think all of us were shocked at how complex these diseases turned out to be. We've made enormous progress in understanding the causes of retinitis pigmentosa, the causes of Stargardt disease, but we're still a long way away from the final completion of fully understanding the diseases. So in my field, we're looking at a very large population of people in this country and of course around the world who can profoundly benefit by the kinds of testing we're doing, but it's expensive, it's labor intensive, it involves very high level bioinformatics and other kinds of, of uh, computer services. And to make that so it's not just available for the hundreds or thousands, but in fact the tens of thousands and the hundred thousands, is really the goal of not only my laboratory and other laboratories, but a very fundamental goal of the Foundation Fighting Blindness.